like anyway. It looks pretty good. Are they real? Are they built for speed or for time? And boom, we are live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. If you've never been here before, welcome aboard. I go through movies, news, documentaries, Netflix series, Netflix originals, and I do trailer reactions. And today, I bring you one of my favorite series of Netflix of date, Kingdom. Kingdom is a South Korean television series, and it was outstanding. I was blown away. I hope there's a season two. Now, it's a six-part episode, or six-episode portion, or whatever you'd say, and um, it's voice dubbed. It is in Korean, but then you get voiceover actors, which was good, and then um, there were some hammy parts where some of the voice actors were crazy, but neither here nor there, they were their voice actors. So, it's set way back in the day. I love the time slot. It's way back, um, I'm guessing it's 13, 14, 15th century, maybe in there. I gave myself a 300 year buffer there. So I think it's around that time, but it's based in Korea and the Musa or warriors are overcome by these ravaged zombies that have been taken or that have been taken taken over by some sort of either plague or virus or something because they ate bad meat. So the action was crazy. Everything was thrilling. I was blown away at like there's people getting chased and I was like on the edge of my seat or I was trying to move like, you know, when you go bowling and then you try and like move the ball. I was doing that like with the people like they were getting chased. I was like, go run. And uh, there were numerous parts where like they're even getting like reached at by their feet. And I'm like, lift up your feet, man. It was crazy. And the cinematography was also beautiful. Every, I love the, the architecture within it. I love South Korea. I love the architecture anyways. But it this type of architecture was just outstanding. It was so beautiful. So And they had like these lake scenes. And then they had um, just numerous scenes beauty exude and it was just so cool and it was shot for shot pound for pound one of the coolest series that i've seen and it's just a time travel back in time but then you get thrown into a muck of zombies so it was really badass that way and it's an original series and um so it's based on this prince and this prince um is getting pushed back from the kingdom like the kingdom wants his stepbrother to become king and they're trying to figure out what's wrong with the king here he's trying to get talk with the king or whatever and the king has contracted this plague. And I don't, they don't know exactly how, but they, they know that he contracted it. And there were a couple cool spins on these zombies. I love the new spins on these zombies. I'm an enormous zombie fan. I've loved Walking Dead. I love 28 Days Later. All the zombie movies. Um, I'm sure I forgot a lot. But it was outstanding in the way that these zombies... I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. But these zombies are not your regular run-of-the-mill zombies. These are South Korean zombies that have a couple aspects of themselves that I didn't foresee coming. So it was badass that way. And it was just so cool. All the action was amazing. All the fight scenes were amazing. They were all believable. And all the characters were actually fun to... like. You could see the dichotomy in between um, the prince and his best friend or his guard and... You could see like one cool aspect they also did is like when they had like peasants or uneducated folk, they had uneducated um, accents as well. And some of the, the prince was very well spoken, well mannered, very calm most of the time. And uh, so that was a cool aspect in it too. But uh, yeah, so it was, it was so crazy. It was so crazy, so amazing in that way. And yeah, so the character development, you get these zombies chasing the prince, and then you get the kingdom who's after the prince as well, and you kind of get like this uh, this squeeze effect within the narrative, which is really cool to see. It was really fun, and I hope there's a season two, just because there were some things that were unresolved, and you're just like, no, like, is that it? There was a couple moments where I thought the series was over. Like, at, maybe it was like third episode or fourth episode, it went black, and I was like, they can't end it there. And then they keep going. So anyways, this was just one of the coolest zombie shows that I'd seen in a very, very long time. Probably one or two, the first episode of Walking Dead or the first um, two, two years of Walking Dead are comparable to this. This was so cool because all the elements and the tweaks and the, 
and the variables inside of this was way different and it just made for a brand new fresh look at the zombie genre and um yeah so cool man and all of like the scenes were they were just badass and they were put in scenarios that you didn't think they were going to get out of and you're just oh madness so awesome so i highly 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 recommend you check out kingdom it's uh, streaming right now on Netflix. Check it out. You will not be disappointed, but it is gory. FYI, there's a lot of action packed and then a lot of blood packets too. So um, so thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I go through movies, news, documentaries, Netflix series, all that jazz. And um, yeah, if you want to support the podcast, review us on iTunes. That helps so much. It seems trite, seems trivial, but it helps so much. Um, so until next time, folks, thank you so much. This has been Matthew Benjamin with the American Movie Podcast. That was King Dome. So thank you so much. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. After all, someone has to pay for the uh, lap dances for the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking.